to make banana bread French toast. You've said you're gonna make me banana bread French toast for like two years. I don't believe you anymore. I don't believe you anymore. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in quarantine. We are in self-isolation. We are in boredom. And my hair is a weird color. So if you guys haven't seen my other videos, where I tried to dye my hair gray, and it obviously didn't work, because my hair is obviously not light enough, and it has this weird undertone of this yellow? It was orange, my hair was orange. So I mean, it is pretty light considering um, how orange it was, but it's this weird brassy toned kind of hair color. It's not like a real blonde color, well, I guess it could be if you had like wheaty colored hair. Um, either way, it's really, really ugly. <laughs> And I want to try to get this color to be lighter without using bleach. So, I have all of these products in front of me. So I have the Colorless Hair Color Remover, and this is like a hair color remover that is supposed to work on black, brown, red, and build up. So I don't know how it's going to work on blonde hair because it doesn't say that it's for blondes. It says, um, it's very gentle, it has no bleach or ammonia. So I have this one, I watched a bunch of reviews on it and a bunch of people said that they really liked it, but again, there has been not a whole lot of YouTube videos for trying to do what I'm trying to do. Cause I'm essentially trying to bleach this to be lighter without using bleach because I don't have any bleach. If I had bleach, I probably would just bleach it, but I don't have any. So I'm interested to see if maybe one of these color removers will help get rid of the weird undertones that are in it because it is hair color, I guess. I also have a Joyco color remover. So I have used this before. This is more for fashion colors though. It removes direct dye, semi-permanent color in one step. So I think I'm gonna try the Joyco color remover first just because my girlfriend that is a hairdresser, <laughs> I FaceTimed her and I was just like, hey, I'm gonna screw my hair up. So give me the best solution. Should I use this product or this product? And she's like, uh, use Joyco because it's a professional brand and it'll probably work better. And I was like, okay, so let's try the Joyco. So I have the Joyco packets right here. They are colorful, they are cool, they are color intensity erasers. So let's follow the instructions. So it says apply it onto hair treated with direct dye or semi-permanent hair color, process up to 30 minutes at room temperature, checking every five minutes until desired results are achieved. Thoroughly rinse from your hair, then follow with a Joyco color therapy shampoo and conditioner. Uh, safety directions, obviously do a patch test. Don't use this if you're allergic to it, blah, blah, blah. I've used this before, so I know I'm not allergic to it, so that's cool. So it says mix one to two ratio. So mix one full packet with three fluid ounces of 20 volume developer. So three to one. Do, do, do. So we have measurements on this bowl here. So I have a bowl for this stuff. I have uh, a, a thing that I don't know if I'm gonna use. So let's just pour in this color remover. Just kind of open. So has anybody else in quarantine uh, their hair up yet? Has anybody given themselves bangs? Does anybody have a new hair color? My dad shaved his head. <laughs> So that's been really funny. My mom called me to let me know that my dad shaved his head and that it was really funny. So it is a, <laughs> people are going crazy in quarantine, self-isolation, whatever. Um, so three or two, to, one to two ratio, ratio. So mix one full pack with 89 milliliters, three fluid ounces of 20 developers. So, all right, I got my handy dandy measuring cup here that has ounces on it. So that will work. So we are going to do one package at a time. I don't know if I'll need both just because I have, um, I don't know if I'll need both because I don't know how much this is going to create because I don't remember. Um, but it looks like this. It does look like a bleach, so I'm not too sure. It says that removes direct dye, some permanent color in one step. Um, I don't believe it claims that it's not a bleach, so it might be a bleach. We shall see. It looks like bleach. It looks exactly like powdered bleach. So it says to use, oh, it smells like bleach too. Okay, cool. So maybe we're gonna bleach my hair. <laughs> so it says mix one to two um, package, three fluid ounces of 20 volume. So I have 20 volume here and I have 30 volume here. So I'm going to use 20 volume first. So this is just from Sally's. So if you guys um, live in Canada, I don't know if Sally's is in the States. So there is three ounces of it. I'm just using <laughs> the kitchen. 
kitchen measuring cup because I don't have a scale. I wish I did. That would be. I remember being in cosmetology school. School. I remember being in cosmetology class when I was in high school and having like the scales, the weighted scales, and it was actually really cool and handy. I don't know what I'm talking about. So this looks like bleach. <laughs> I am. It smells like bleach. It looks like bleach. It looks exactly like bleach. So I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair up hard. I have already cut my hair many times, many times over. So the reason that I started wearing wigs all the time is because I didn't want to constantly dye my hair and wreck my hair and run the risk of my hair falling out all the time. So back in 2015, I definitely dyed my hair so bad that it fell out. It fell out in like chunks and pieces and it was absolutely ridiculous and that was fun. So that was in 2015. My hair has grown back since then. It is very long. It is very thick. It's not damaged um, as, like it is a little bit damaged just from me always having it up in a bun, but it's not like super damaged. It's just kind of whatever. My hair is really curly and wavy. If I brush it out, it can go straight. So I'm just, mixing up the bowl and talking to you guys, just cause why not? I have been so bored in this self isolation and I really missed my friends, I miss my family, I miss going out and like actually going to work cause I've been working from home for the last month and it's just been a lot. I know a lot of people are suffering with their mental health because of this, because it's not helping anything being stuck in our houses and stuff and it's just been a lot so I feel for anybody that is stuck at home and misses going out but it's for a good thing this isn't forever it will go back to normal hopefully soon so I'm just going to brush my hair out really quickly and then we can start this process so anybody that has wavy curly hair knows that when you brush it out, it goes into like a poopy mess. So that is what just happened with my hair. My hair is not super damaged or anything. It just went into this poofy mess of whatever. So I am not a hairdresser. I do not claim to be a hairdresser. I do not claim to want you guys to do any of the things that I do um, with my hair on my channel. I am not saying that you guys should follow <laughs> my instructions whatsoever. I am just doing this because I am bored at home and I want to. So if you have <laughs> similar reasons as to why you want uh, your hair to be color removed, then um, proceed with caution. But do not take anything that I'm saying in this video as anything other than me experimenting. <laughs> so yeah. So if you guys are not familiar with my channel and you guys have been here for a while, you guys know that I don't really use gloves when doing things with my hair and that is why I had dyed my hands orange for like <laughs> a couple days when I dyed my hair orange. Um, I don't actually have any gloves right now and as a lot of people know during this pandemic, gloves are kind of hard to come by. So I didn't get any gloves with these packages, this is all you get, you just get the color. So I am going in without gloves and it's probably going to dry out my hands even more than they already are and it's probably going to suck. So if you're going to do this, I highly recommend following the proper PPE procedures and using gloves, but I don't have any so here we go. So I'm just going to start by taking some sections of hair and painting it on. Love this. I am terrified. Oh, what this is gonna do? <laughs> please work and please don't make my hair fall out. So I'm just painting it on and then I'm running it through just with my hands. So I watched a lot of videos online of people doing this to their hair and they didn't really follow <laughs> proper instructions or proper hairdresser procedures because, well, we're all doing this at home and we're all amateurs. So if you have really dry hands, this is going to sting. This is really going to sting your freaking hands and if you have open wounds or open cracks like I do from my hands being so dry, from me washing my hands so much, um, be careful because this is probably going to hurt your freaking hands. So I'm just going to rub this in and process my hair and I don't know if this is going to work. As you guys can see by my awesome uh, skill of 
applying this because I know what I'm doing, totally. One thing that I am going to note is I am trying not to get my roots too much with the color remover. I am applying it just a little bit to my roots, but nothing too crazy because I don't want my roots to be color removed so intensely and have this not work on the rest of my hair and have like bright, bright, bright bleach blonde roots and have the rest of my hair be this weird yellow color. So keep that in mind. If you have hair similar to mine, um, probably avoid doing the roots. Don't oversaturate your roots and over process them because they may take the color remover um, a lot better than the rest of your hair that has already been processed. Keep that in mind. Also, make sure you're wearing a shirt that you don't care about. I am just wearing a really, really old tank top that is falling apart so that if I get color remover on it or dye on it, ooh, it's stinging my skin, holy. So if I get color remover on it or dye on it, um, it doesn't really matter. Try to avoid getting it on your neck because that just stung a lot, holy crap. But I have a very sensitive skin. So keep that in mind. So when I got this done, um, originally when I did this, I did this for the first time with my hairdresser. And um, as she was trying to get the color out of my hair, because my hair was blue at the time, it was her and someone else, they were actively like doing this, massaging, using friction to get the color out of the hair. So that is kind of the technique that I'm going with. I'm going with trying to do it as best as I possibly can to get the color molecule out of my hair with this color remover. So that is the technique that I am choosing to use and I'm going to do a little bit just more right here and I'm not really focusing right, right at the root but I am adding a little bit to my roots just so that they can be a little bit lighter, if not kind of like an ombre. So that is this side done. I'm just gonna put it behind me and every time that it touches my neck, it stings. So please keep that in mind. It is definitely harsh. Also, I recommend that if you are going to do this, to make sure you have a door open or a window open, or you may suffocate yourself from the fumes, because this stuff smells freaking strong. It is literally making my eyes water. That's how strong it smells. I also got this product from um, one of the hair salon, or not salons, one of the hair companies where you can purchase professional products like the brand Joico, because Joico is a professional salon brand. Um, you will need somebody that has a salon certificate, that has a hairstylist certificate that actually is a stylist to be able to purchase these products. I believe you can also purchase them online, probably from like eBay or like Amazon or those retailers. Um, and you won't need a license to purchase it, but I just got, um, this through one of my friends, she uh, purchased it for me and I'm very grateful for her. And this was like two years ago, two or three years ago, it was quite a long time ago actually that I bought this. So this actually might be expired. <laughs> also another thing that I found was really interesting is I was looking online for bleaches because you know, I'm in quarantine, that's what I do. I was looking at the Arctic Fox website for their bleaches and they have like their brand new bleach that just came out recently and they're selling it with a 35 or 40 developer and that is absolutely crazy to me. That is like nearly the highest developer that is like offered <laughs> it for bleaches and stuff and they're selling it to people that are not professionals that are going to fry their hair off and they are going to damage the crap out of their hair using that product. So that was one of the reasons that I decided not to buy it because it came with, even though I have developers here, I have a 20 and a 30 here, um, the fact that they're giving it out with like a 35 developer just scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the actual, those people are going to wreck their hair. <laughs> so I don't know if this is actually doing anything. Who knows? That is that strand. Oh my god, every time it touches my neck right here, see where it's like super red? It burns and it hurts. That is 
not promising. I don't know why. I must have a cut there for some reason. That is not promising. Also, my hands don't feel very good. <laughs> Wear gloves. This hurts. Ugh, look at, look at my ends. <laughs> I think this is the piece that I accidentally um, caught on fire. So funny story, I was at work before um, all of this happened back in February and I had a candle sitting on my desk and I bent down to do something and the top of my ponytail <laughs> went in my candle and it fried part of my hair right off, caught on fire. It smelt horrible and it was really funny. So there's that little piece of information from me. So how is everybody doing? Let me know in the comments section down below how you guys are entertaining yourselves in this isolation, if you guys are working from home still, what you guys have been up to, what you're doing to keep yourself sane, because I clearly am not sane. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing. Give me some ideas on how to stay less bored because there's literally only so much Sims I can play <laughs> without going crazy. I'm actually already kind of bored of Sims. It's only been like two weeks of me playing it, like kind of on and off. So, kind of already bored of it. I've also been playing this game called Slime Rancher. It's really fun, you guys. If you guys are into um, kind of farming games or games like that, you guys may really like it. So I don't know if this is actually doing anything other than damaging the crap out of my hair, but my hair feels really horrible. It feels like there's bleach in it, so that's cool. Um, my roots that it has touched do actually look a little bit lighter, so I think it is doing something to those. I'm obviously not really focusing it too much on my roots, but I am going to focus it a little bit on there. But the more I do stuff on this side, the more it freaking hurts my neck. So that's fun. Um, I don't know if this is actually going to do anything, but holy crap, this side of my neck really, really hurts. Now to do the top layer. At least for once, I'm finally filming and it's not like overly the top, crazy windy out. Did you guys hear in my last videos where that wind wouldn't stop? That was so annoying. Somebody actually, one of my, one of my subscribers, Jessica, actually commented on it saying like, um, that wind at the beginning was so crazy, it sounded fake. And I was like, yeah, I promise, it wasn't fake. I didn't just add a random wind sound into my video because that would be stupid, and really dumb. It was just so goddamn windy that day that the wind would not stop and it sounded like a freaking purge siren was going off. It was insane. Finally, it is not windy here and it actually is quite nice out today. It's just we can't really enjoy it because we're stuck inside. But it is quite nice out, so that's good. Spring has sprung. I am so excited to plant my garden get on with this freaking summer springness. I'm to so tired of winter. Living in Canada sucks, especially for winter time. It's terrible. It's so cold here and so dry here. And then of course with COVID happening, everybody having to wash our hands like a crazy amount more than usual. Um, it has caused me to have immensely more dry hands than I already usually have. And it has not been fun. This is literally gonna be like a 30 minute video of me bitching about dry skin. <laughs> but it has not been fun, my skin has been so dry and I have not been happy about it. But I mean, we should all be washing our hands. I, the statistic of people that were, that actually wash their hands properly is actually really low. You're supposed to wash your hands for a minimum of, I think it was 30, 20 to 30 seconds and most people don't do that. And I think we're all guilty of not doing that before COVID. So that is um, kind of gross <laughs> and kind of eye-opening about how dirty people are. Also, have you guys ever heard of the, um, the test that was done on, oh my God, I just got it on my pants. The test that was done on those McDonald's touch screens. They said that every single McDonald's touch screen um, where you order the items or whatever yourself, uh, tested positive for feces. So you guys are touching those screens, ordering your food, and then eating your food, and you're getting poo particles in your mouth. How gross. <laughs> so my, my hair is just like lapping this up because it is so dry. So um, I'm really interested to see what it does. So that piece is done. 
We are almost done through the product, so I think this is the right amount. I think I only needed one package for my hair. I don't think I needed two packets, but I have another one just in case I want to try it again in the future. And we'll see how damaging this is for my hair. I don't think this one is supposed to be super damaging. I'm really hoping it's not. I believe the last time that I tried it, it was not super damaging, but you never know, hopefully. So I'm just, I'm not really going with the smallest sections ever. So that's why I'm just kind of pulling my hair apart and just trying to get as much as I can into the hair mo particle molecule, the hair strand, as I possibly can. And really working it in just with friction because that's what my hairdresser did the last time that I tried doing it. And the funny thing is, is the last time that I tried actually doing this, it did not do anything to my hair. My hair was this teal color and it literally did nothing. So I'm really interested to see if it works. I really want to just get through this because my hands are burning. <laughs> I really, really, really strongly recommend that you use gloves if you're going to attempt this. This is not fun. So now I am going to do just a little bit of the root. I am not a professional. I am strongly, highly recommending to um, go to a hairdresser once this is all done and get your hair bleached properly. <laughs> don't follow my instructions on how to do anything because I don't know what I'm fucking doing. I am just screwing up my hair. If Brad, whatever his name is, that really famous hairdresser ever sees this video, he's probably gonna freak. He's probably gonna be like, this girl has no idea what she's doing and you would be right. Look at this, my hand hurts. My hand is so dry now. <laughs> this sucks. All right. And now to do the other side. If I can even get my hair out of the ponytail. The fumes are getting to me guys. Really starting to bother my eyes and my hand actually really hurts. So highly recommend using gloves <laughs> as I've said a couple times now. Okay, I think I'm probably gonna have to mix the second package of this stuff and go over my hair one more time and see if I can find gloves in my house to do this even though, oh, uh, maybe not, we shall see. Oh uh, yeah, I think I'm going to. So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and um, mix in the second package just to do the other side of my hair and I will be right back. Okay, so I am mixing the other bowl up. I strongly recommend if you're gonna do this to wear gloves because look at my hands, they are actually burning and that is like, I think that is like a corrosive thing that's happening to my hand, those white spots. They actually really do hurt. So I have found some gloves um, just from another box dye that I had sitting here. So I am going to, I wish I had known that these gloves were here. The, <laughs> the start of the video, I highly recommend not doing this um, unless you have gloves. That is my own mistake, that is my own stupidity and I'm so used to dyeing my hair without gloves that um, I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal because these color removers usually claim to not have bleach in them, but this one I think it does. <laughs> I think it actually does have bleach in it. So um, yeah, I've used it before and I wasn't the one that did it. I was, it was my hairdresser that did it. So I didn't know how strong it was going to react on my hands. And usually my hands um, are okay when I do this kind of stuff to my hair, but this time it was not and it was really stinging and so I decided to go on the hunt to find some gloves. So I'm just remixing the second batch of this product and I'm just gonna go over top of some of the spots that um, didn't really get hit with any of the bleach. I'm gonna try not to overlap anything and just recoat my hair in this crap. So I did get some of it on my roots. Um, I applied some of it to my roots just so that I could get almost like an ombre effect and I didn't do that great of a job, but I just applied a little bit, just kind of like this as I was going, just to get some of it into the root, just so that if it does take um, to my whole head that I will um, get more of an even color. But at the same time, um, it may go into my roots way faster than the rest of my hair and I may end up looking ridiculous. But it does look like it is working a little bit. It does look like it is taking some of that orangey, yellowy tone out of my hair. Because as you guys know, my hair was that orange kind of color. 
Now I'm just going over top of any of the spots that I feel like I missed. I did the back of my hair off camera. I had to use a mirror behind me and just kind of position it and it was really awkward. And now I'm just kind of going over top of any of the spots that I feel I missed and this feels a hell of a lot better um, using gloves. That weird kind of white color that was on my hands is gone now, so I think that was a chemical reaction. So don't be like me, don't be stupid, don't um, use this product or any type of color remover, any type of bleach, whatever, um, without <laughs> proper PPE. That was dumb. Um, learn from my mistakes, that really hurt. So I'm just kind of going over top for all of the spots on my head. And now I'm just going to work it in using my hands to try to get the most out of this color remover. I don't know if it's actually going to work. Checking every five minutes, process up to 30 minutes. So it has probably been about 15 minutes since it's been on, like the, the first starting point. So I will probably leave it on for about 15 more minutes and then I will remove it and I will wash my hair with a purple shampoo as normal and we shall see if it works. So this is what my hair looks like right now. It looks like it is lightening it. It does look like it is getting a little bit lighter. I am going to Google this one and see if there is um, actually bleach in it because some of these color removers really do claim that they are ammonia free and bleach free, but I don't know if this is one of them because like I said, it made my hands um, really, really, really irritated really quickly. It burnt my neck anywhere that the product touched it and um, I've used it before and it did nothing. So I'm really, really curious if it does actually have a bleach ammonia property to it because you do have to use a 30 or 20 volume um, developer. So I'm curious to know because I'm not a hairstylist and I am very, very ignorant when it comes to this stuff. I don't know a whole lot about hair care stuff. So I'm going to Google it and see what's actually in it because it probably does have a leech in it. Look at my neck. That freaking hurts. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 more minutes and I will come back and we shall see what it did. Safe to say guys, I should never be allowed to do anything to my hair ever. Look at this fucking mess that I just did to my head. <laughs> okay, so um, I was Googling things online the difference between color remover and bleach and the difference between the color remover is, is it doesn't have a peroxide in it it's just to remove the color that's already on your head whereas a bleach will remove all of the color plus the color underneath this is just supposed to remove the color that is um, you're trying to get out whereas this definitely bleached my roots. Um, so like I said in the video, don't get it on your roots. And then I proceeded to get it on my roots because I was just like, you know what, at the, at the, at the end of the video, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do my whole head and see what happens. So it's really, really patchy, obviously, because I did not dye my roots properly. I did not section it. I did not do anything. I think it looks absolutely hilarious. Um, I don't really care because I'm going to be putting a color over top in the future, probably in the next couple of days or so. I'm going to try to put a color over top, like a like a silver or a gray. So I'm not really that bothered by it. I think it's absolutely hilarious. You can get these on Amazon. So I was looking um, and eBay and stuff. So I was just looking it up and um, I think this is absolutely freaking hilarious. So now I am going to tone my hair. So I'm going to use the Wella Permanent Liquid Hair Toner. So this is the T18 for the lightest ash blonde. So my hair is absolutely god awful right now and we need to tone it and I think it's funny and I just spent the last 40 minutes FaceTiming all of my friends and having them laugh at me because I thought it was really, really, really funny. So this is what the toner looks like. This is the T18 Lightest Ash Blonde. So the instructions for this, I've used this many, many times before. It is um, Wella Color Charm Toner is ideal to create pure, double processed blonde hair color results. These toners remove remaining brass to perfect blondes every time. Extra mild toner, gentle to the hair, tones pre-lightened hair evenly. So the directions for use is pre-lighten the hair to the required level before applying toner. Mix one part Wella toner per two parts 20 volume Wella Color Charm Developer. So I don't have Wella, I just have um, my Sally's. I just poured it directly into this just so I can get an even distrib distribution of product. So it was two to one. So I'm just filling up one more all the way up and pouring it into the mixing bowl. All right. 
Now, as you guys watched in the beginning of this video, I didn't use gloves and I regret it because my hands are, they're not like, they don't have that white weird um, reaction on it anymore, but they definitely feel really, really dry. So um, definitely use gloves. <laughs> so I have um, used this many, many times before. It is very strong. So like I said, make sure to open up a window. I'm going to use gloves this time around because I don't want my hands to fall off. <laughs> and I'm just mixing this up. This goes into like um, a kind of a yellowy pale color and then it turns to a purple color as you are applying it. So I'm just mixing it up. It smells really, really strong. So if you um, have a window or if you're doing this in the bathroom or something, make sure to turn on the fan, open the door. Just don't be sitting with the fumes for too long. So I had to use two of the packets of the Joyco color remover and um, I may have to use two of these packages. I'm not too sure yet. So far, I'm just going to mix one and see what the results are. So once you mix it up, it turns into like this pale yellow color. And then as you are applying it, it will go to a purple color. So as you guys watched me apply um, the color remover, I don't really know how to section my hair or do any of the hair school stuff. So this is just how I've always dyed my hair and that's why it's a patchy mess. And I think this would probably be this kind of um, hair thing that you want to do with your hair. It's probably best done with a friend or a sister or a sibling or your mom or your dad or your brother. My camera died and now I have to try to make um, and put it in. So it's already starting to dye the gloves purple so it does work pretty well. So like I was saying, um, if you do have a sibling or a mom or your dad home um, or a boyfriend that can help you. This is probably be easier done with a friend or a sibling. And um, I live with my boyfriend and he was busy at the moment. And of course I wanted to do this with you guys on my channel. So that's why I decided to fuck up my hair by myself. And I definitely missed giant pieces. So I may order another one of the Joyco color removers and just go over top of any of the spots that I totally missed. Um, or I may just not bother and put a color over top of this. I don't know. My hair was already really, really, really like patchy and grown out and the roots were really terrible. So it's not like the end of the world. It's not the biggest deal, but this is a patchy mess and I think it's absolutely hilarious. My mom used to kill me when I used to dye my hair at home like this all the time because I'm so messy and I would get like hair dye on like the roof, on the door, on like the ceiling. Well, that is the roof. I would get it everywhere and she would get so mad at me because <laughs> I'm such a klutz and I'm so messy. I really hope that this is going to tone my hair to a really pretty ashy color because that yellow is bad. <laughs> so this is what the hair looks like once it has all of the toner in it. So I only used one and you guys can see that I'm very messy. I got it all over my arm. I got it all over my floor. I got it all over my desk. I didn't get any on my Loki painting, so that's a plus. Um, I got it everywhere <laughs> and I'm really hoping that this will help tone my hair down and stop it from being so brassy and yellow because it is really gross. So as I've already said a million times in this video, I'm clearly not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing and I am just experimenting on my own head. So hope you guys have been enjoying this video and I hope you guys got a good laugh out of that grassy mess that I had when I came back from using the color remover. I honestly don't know what I was expecting from that color remover, like really though. <laughs> I think it did a pretty good job considering um, I didn't know what I was expecting. So everything is purple. I really need to clean my desk now. I need to go um, let this develop. So once this develops, I will wash it out. It says to leave on for, doo -doo -doo, for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes and once it is done, I will come back and show you guys the finished results. So see you guys then. I have no idea how this worked, but my hair is platinum blonde. <laughs> it is a little bit darker on the camera than it is in person. In person, it's like really, really blonde, but it is so even and so blonde and I'm actually, really shook. I thought my under roots were gonna be really, really patchy and really messed up, but it's honestly not. Um, it, 
I'm shook. This worked. Like, this Joyco uh, color remover is incredible. It worked so well. I don't really know what I was expecting of it because I didn't really have a color to remove other than I kind of wanted to bleach my hair and it worked. Um, so all the stuff I've read online says it's not a bleach. It doesn't have the um, same product or same ingredients as a bleach, I guess. That's what that's all of the stuff that I've read online. But one of the things that I have noticed um, with this particular product is so because it is a color remover, you, I did need to use a developer, so that is something that you use with bleach as well. I used 20 volume, as you guys saw, and it does have a um, hydro, hydro XL cellulose. I don't know what that is. Um, so I know the differences between a color remover and a bleach is there isn't hydrogen peroxide. So what is... Uh, how do I spell that? Hydro... So hydro... I can't even say this word. Um, is a gelling and thickening agent derived from cellulose. It's widely used in cosmetologists, winding solutions, and other household products. Okay, so I'm looking through the ingredients and I don't see a hydrogen peroxide ingredient in it. So that is the differences between a bleach and a color eraser is there isn't the peroxide ingredient. Um, the thing is, though, it worked like a bleach. So <laughs> what I mean by that is when I got out of the shower, I had missed this piece right here and this piece was still my natural root and so I went back with a little bit of the product just on my brush and I coated it right there on that piece and it bleached my hair my natural roots like that it was so quick so if you do have fashion colors um, I watched a ton of videos on YouTube saying that it works in like 30 seconds they put the product on so let's say this color was like a red or purple or something they wanted to remove, they put the product on and they rub it through like I did and you can watch it disappear in their hair and then their hair looks like this. So that's why I was really curious. I wanted to know what my hair would do with a color remover considering I didn't have, like I did have an orange color over top but it had mostly come out and I had pre-colored my hair before I did this. So I did use a bleach about two months ago on my hair and my hair was still orange. So I wanted to know what it would do and if I could get to this platinum color. So obviously it did work. The Wella toner that, that I used, the T18 worked really, really well to tone my hair down from that brassy kind of really, really yellow color it was. So it is pretty brassy still, so that it does need to be toned again probably, but I'm not gonna continue to mess up with my hair today just because it is um, it has gone through a lot. <laughs> I would say though that my hair feels really really good for the amount of dryness that usually comes from bleaching and color removing products. So this is one of the most gentle um, color removers I've ever used. It did hurt my hands so like I did say please make sure to use gloves when you do this. Don't follow my mistake by not using a glove. That was really stupid and I highly recommend using proper PPE. I didn't know I had gloves at the time and now I do, so I've washed them and I've put them back in my kit, and you can see on my hand though where um, it is really dry, and it is almost like a, it almost is like a corrosive looking like reaction on my hand from the product, so my hands definitely do hurt, but um, something from the jo Joyco website, so Joyco Color Remover, it says, so this is from uh, Cosmoprof, so that is one of the places you can get this if you are a stylist and have a license. Um, it says that product details is erase with ease, pastels or brights, unicorn or pinwheel techniques. Which which hot new hair color trend will your client jump on next? Thanks to Joyco Color Intensity be Color Eraser, obsessed clients can now change their custom color quickly and easily while leaving locks gleaming in healthy condition in 30 minutes or less. Our brilliant K-Pack and keratin enriched formula lifts direct dyes, leaving hair ready for its next color transformation. The feature and benefits of this product are easy one-step direct dye removal in 30 minutes or less, drip-free formula, easy to apply, contains proteins that help condition and protect your hair during lifting, amino acids to help boost lifting power and guard against breakage, hair identical proteins to help protect hair's integrity, removes direct dye semi-permanent color in one step, creamy drip-free formula, cuticle nourishing K-pack proteins help condition hair during lifting for healthier results and endless creative uses. So I would agree, my hair does feel really nice. Um, it is a little bit drier than it was when I first started, but again, that is because I just did uh, essentially a, um, 
a bleach. <laughs> so it's not a bleach, but it kind of it works like a bleach. Um, so it removes the color that's in your hair, which is what it was supposed to. And my roots are definitely, they look bleached. They look definitely like I just bleached my hair. So be very careful with this product. Obviously follow the, follow the directions. If you are out of, once you are out of quarantine, if you can um, get one of your friends to help you with this, or if you can bring this to your salon and get them to use it on you, that or if they carry this um, line at their salon, you can ask if they have that if you're trying to get a color out of your hair. But I would say definitely use this product with caution. Be very careful. Um, your hair can definitely react to things completely different than mine. Everybody's hair is very different than each other, and my hair is very strong. So knock on wood that my hair doesn't fall out but I have a very very strong hair and I have gone through many different processes with my all around the colors that I've had in my life and it is very very damaging to constantly bleach your hair and color out a different color they say that this isn't damaging but it probably is a little bit my hair feels pretty good it feels really soft my ends don't look any more frayed than they were before and um, my hair feels great but you could definitely have a bad reaction to this product if you have pre-lightened hair that is already damaged. So definitely be very, very, very careful. If you are not skilled at doing your hair, I would definitely get a friend to help you. I mean, I'm not skilled and I did okay, but I mean, that's a fluke. I have no idea how this happened. But I'm really, really liking this color. I really like how light it is. I love the blonde, super, 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 super platinum look, but I probably will still put a color over top of it. I do want to go silver or gray, and I think my hair finally is at the lightness that it needs to be to put that color over top, but at the same time, I may just hold off on now and just have platinum hair for a little while. Looks pretty cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy watching me play with my hair and experiment with my hair, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you guys can um, come back and see me fuck up my hair again in the future. Please make sure to hit the bell button so you guys get notified whenever I upload. And please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. My social medias will be listed down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then Stay tuned for more. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys at the next video. Bye!